I am heavily annoyed. I am greatly annoyed. Um, this will actually be my first take two of a of a video. Um, and you know, I'm about to move my mouse away right now so it doesn't happen again. Um, this is very annoying because I like my videos to be genuine. You know, like one take. Like this is what it should be, right? I shouldn't ever have to cut out and then cut back in to you know. I mean, if I if I have to take time to think a thought, then just let it happen, right? Um, but I accidentally hit the stop record button as I was recording. I was like, I was only like six minutes in, but still, that's annoying. But <sighs> take it as it is, right? Um, man, I'm annoyed. That was a good video. All right, all right. I guess I'm just gonna have to repeat everything I said if I can remember it. Um, I'm I'm so annoyed. All right. So, I was talking about, <laughs> in the last recording, I'm gonna have to delete that one too, I can't really under, I can't really figure out which videos are which, because I make like a, I make a bunch of videos, but I just don't upload them, I don't know, that's gonna take time, but regardless, so, I was talking about how, um, uh, like I say in previous videos, how I was struggling with depression, you know, anxiety, and anti-socialism, um, well, not anti-socialism, because socialism is a whole different topic, but I, I just wasn't social. Um, how I was struggling with those uh, concepts, those principles, um, you know, I was talking about that, and then, you know, here I am at college, you know, and I'm living my best life, right? I was talking about how, you know, during those times in tenth, ninth and 10th grade, how, like, when I, you know, got on uh, Instagram and such, um, I would see people living their best lives, and, and it's like, you know, I was kind of mad that they were, um, you know, and it was definitely my cynicism at play, it was definitely, you know, my, uh, depression at play, I guess you could say, um, because, you know, I used to see people, you know, having fun, and it was like, why am I not having fun, like, that should be me right there, um, you know, I used to hate it, I used to hate people living, like, enjoying their best life. Cause that wasn't me, um, you know. And I used to hate people like self-diagnosing themselves, right? Um, because you know, it's like, although I can, I guess I self-diagnosed myself too. Cause it's not like I went to, it's never like I truly went to a doctor to see if I had depression uh, or anything. But you know, I kind of figured, you know, after you know what went down, you know. Um, I won't get too far into it. it. It wasn't anything too too serious, anyways. But regardless, um, I used to hate people self-diagnose themselves on like Twitter and such. Like, oh, I have bipolar, or I have anxiety and depression. Cause it's like, well, it's not as bad as mine, you know. Cause I, you know, I guess it was so weird. It's like I had a depression complex. Like my depression is worse than anybody else's. It was weird. I don't know. I guess you know. I guess. You know, it, it first happens to you, and it's like, well, here it is, so it has to be the worst, right? I don't know. I don't know what was going through my head, but it clearly it clearly wasn't stable. My mind was not stable. Um, I hated to see people self-diagnose, although I was uh, a self-diagnoser myself, I guess. Because, um, you know, I just figured it wasn't as bad as mine, right? Because really and truly, I just hated people, you know... I, I thought it was all for performance, you know, I thought it was all for, you know, them to just seek attention and such. Um, but but the, the, the harsh reality is people that have depression, um, from what I know, from you know, my friends and, and myself, uh, we did want attention. That's the thing. We want attention, but at the same time, we don't. Um, it's, a, it's a very uh, interesting catch-22. It's a very interesting uh, cycle, I guess. Because it's like we want people to notice that, you know, we're going through some things, but we just don't want to let you in on it, I guess. I'm saying we as if I still have it. No, I don't. I'm living my best life. And that's why I come to make this video. I swear it's going to all tie in together. So that was my life in high school, you know, just, you know, going through it and then getting out of it. <clears throat> and then, you know, and I, I do thank God for it again. Um, I thank God for it because, you know, he... he he led me to that white school district for a reason, you know, I, I experienced some things that I didn't want to, but yet, you know, like I say, constantly through wisdom comes experience. 
Um, I definitely got some wisdom out of it. Um, through depression, you know, came, you know, I guess me maturing. Um, maybe not in the greatest of ways, but it happened. And, you know, here I am in college living my best life. Um, you know, it's amazing because I'm living my best life, yet nothing has really changed from how it's been years ago. Um, I've been almost the same exact person since ninth grade. Um, I'm too far. Like I, I feel like my face be like super into the camera. Y'all don't need to see me that hard, cause now y'all looking at my acne and uh, I don't like it. So regardless, I know the cap is is backwards, but I didn't do anything to my hair today, as you can see. And I don't, it's gonna look crazier if I twist it forward again. So just deal with it. So regardless, um. Yeah, not much has changed. Um, and I think that's the craziest part. Like, all that's changed is that I'm I'm 17 now. Like, I'm living my best life, and my life has just been the same. Like, I think that's crazy how, how it works, right? Like, life changes just based on your perspective of it, right? Um, I mean, I, I obviously, I mean, I thank God that I got the full ride here. I mean, that definitely helped, but it's like... That definitely helped, but at the same time, like, if I was still, you know, a little down and out, you know, I wouldn't have put the work in like I should. Like, in 10th grade, I was so down and out, I had Bs for every single one of my classes. And that sounds bad, but, like, and not to flex, but it's like, I'm usually, like, an all-around A student. But I had, a, I had like, 82s in, like, every single one of my classes. Like, I could have got, I easily could have gotten a C, but the only reason I didn't is because I had to maintain a B to you know, still be in 10th grade, like, had I gotten a C in one of my classes, they would have put me back in 9th grade, like, it would have been a waste, um, I kind of had to keep the C, I had to keep the B, um, but I'm trying to, like, what I'm trying to say is that, um, you know, it's, it's crazy how perspective changes your entire life, like, I was looking at life, I was looking at life, you know, in, in, in in, in a, my my uh, psychi uh, psychiatrist he he said something that really like you know I, I've tried to keep in mind for a while now. Um, he said something and it like really struck me because it's like I was looking at life down or something like that it was something along those lines where basically he's saying like now that I'm looking at life you know in my head is like up you know like what, what's the saying like shoot for the shoot for the moon and, you know, you'll still reach the stars, like, stuff like that, you know, um, stuff like that, it's really, like, you know, now that, like, the, the theme within, like, the sayings, like, the old adages and, like, sayings, like, I understand now because I'm going kind of through it, right, like, curiosity killed the cat, I just went, I kind of learned that the hard way a couple weeks ago, um, <laughs> I think I said in the, in the <laughs> when I was going through it with that uh, one girl from my college, I'm saying from my college, fam, this was three weeks ago, but I was going through it with, with her. Um, and then, uh, you know, that uh, that line from, you know, what a fool believes, it was like, wow, that's really me right now. Well, that was really me with the one girl back in my high school, too. Um, but yeah, so it's like, I'm really learning things and then, you know, a, a thing that really, you know, is really a reason is because I'm learning it by myself, right? Like, it's almost like, as corny as it sounds, it's like, it, it's, it's boy meeting, it. boy meets world. I'm like meeting the world on my own. It's not boy meets world and still holding on to his mother's hand, you know? It's like boy meets world on his own, right? And... I mean, no, it's no slight to mom. It's no slight to mom at all, because I still need her help every single day. Um, you know, just, you know, with, with, I asked her questions, you know, just about general life still, you know, and I'm in college where it's like, I'm still going to have to learn some myself, but, you know, it's no slight to her. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of doing this stuff on my own, you know, when that wasn't the case for the last 16 years of my life, you know? And, and it's also now the fact that um, I'm kind of becoming myself, you know, like 
I'm, I'm, I am so glad that I've made this YouTube channel, um, since, like, last month or whenever I started this, because just things like this, like, the only, the only person watching these videos is me, like, the only reason why my other video has, like, 25 views is because my mom saw it and she wanted to share it with the, with the, with the whole family, so, you know, that's that, and she shared my, my first video, too. Everything else only has like five views, and that's me watching it. Cause sometimes I just need a little guidance from myself, you know. Um, you know, and I'm really learning. I'm really living my best life. Like I couldn't ask for anything better than this. You know, the only way this could be better is if COVID wasn't, you know, um, happening. I guess, right? You know, if COVID wasn't a thing, and you know, I could really like, you know, meet new people. You know, um. You know, just like join more clubs where people are actually in them. You know, that'd be that'd be dope. But like, even this is still this is still dope. Like, I'm still alone. Like, the craziest part about me living my best life is I think I just said it, but I said it like a couple minutes ago, is that nothing has changed. Like, I'm still I'm still very alone. Yeah, you know, I'm not lonely, but I'm still very alone. Like, I was very lonely in high school. I was lonely and alone. Now I'm just alone. But I can make friends. Like, making friends isn't difficult anymore. Um, you know, making the first move is always kind of awkward. But, like, once you mesh, you mesh. Like, that's just what it is. You know? And it was it was, it was, was definitely a hard principle to master back in high school, you know? Oh, well, anything before high school, too, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's like... You know, I'm still alone. Like, I, I'm cool just kicking it with myself. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm living life in a whole different perspective where it's like, I'm cool being with myself, you know? Like, I was, because cause I, the only reason I'm making this video is because I was walking back from the snack bar and I was like, I saw everybody with like either their girlfriend or their, the group of homeboys. And I was like, wow, everybody's really with someone. But I don't feel a way no more about it. Like, before, like, if, if that was in high school, I would have felt some sort of way. Because I always wanted to be with a group of people, you know? Like, I was always scared of being alone. But ever since college, it's like, and I, you know, and I under, and I started to experience things, you know? It's like, I don't feel no way anymore. I don't have a fear of being alone anymore. Like, that's completely kind of gone away now. Like... I don't know, it's like, I don't feel the weight being lifted off my shoulder, but I definitely feel better, you know? Um, and I just, I, I, I truly do think that this has been, this is, like, college does change people's lives, you know, as I've heard from my mother, my father, you know, almost everybody in my family. Um, you know, and it's like, I... I it's changed my life, but more in like a mental space, not really physically as if I've made more friends. Because if anything, I have less friends than I did in high school. But these friends do care for me, you know. Um, we haven't seen each other much as of this week, but, you know, when we do, you know, when we meet up, we meet up. And it's like, it's real true friendship. Like, you know, it's like, it's one of these, right? You know, it's, it's real true friendship, and, you know, that's cool. But even still, when we're not meeting up, like, I'm fine being alone. Like, that's the thing. Um, you know, I love it. I, I I couldn't ask for anything more. I really couldn't. I think God set me up in a place where it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, right? I mean, I, I definitely still do need his presence. Um, but, you know, it's like, this is where I'm supposed to be in life right now, you know, and there's still so much more, like, I'm still 17, I still, God willing, I got all these years left, you know, there's like a peak that I'm reaching for, and, you know, it, it's the chase that's kind of what's still, you know, um, making me thrive for it, right, like, I don't want to just reach that peak, I want to keep thriving, I, I want to strive for, you know, um, that's what it is, I, I want to just keep striving, because, you know, it's like, once you hit it, then it's like, what else do you got to do, once you reach that moment in life, what else do you got to do, 
that's why, you know, my my intentions are to get as many degrees in like science and such as possible because there's millions. No, there's like thousands. But, you know, it's like I always want to gain more information. I always, that's just who I want to be. You know, it's not like Solomon where he was the wisest person in the world. But I and it's not even I'm not even trying to say I want to be the smartest person in the world. I just want to, you know, learn more about science and such. You know, I want to I do eventually want a girlfriend, you know, but. You know, it can wait. Like, before I was just, you know, trying to get a girl just to have a girl, you know? And it's like, it's not necessarily necessary anymore. Like, I'm living perfectly fine with that one. Like, I don't know. It's Sometimes I feel like I'm a late bloomer, but I feel like I'm living perfectly fine, you know? Um, yeah, I'm really chilling. Like, I'm... I'm I, I could not ask for more, you know, and it's, it's people like my father that I, I truly look up to because it's not like he's living, you know, uh, he's not going with the flow. Like he has an agenda, but he lives, you know, at his own pace, right? He doesn't, he doesn't like, at least from, you know, when I see him, it's, it's not like he's striving to be a man that, you know, isn't him, you know, he, he is that man, you know, and he's teaching his kids to, you know, live their life, you know, just live it well, right, and it's like, that's the man I try to be, you know, I want to be him where I'm just, I'm being me, like, I'm truly just being me, you know, I want to be me for the rest of my life, um, I don't want to put on a facade of someone that I'm not, because I'm living my best life, and my best life is me, my best life isn't Someone that I'm not, right? Um, <laughs> and I, I don't know. It's just, it, it's, it's really cool when you just, you know, you start to learn more about yourself. You know, I always heard that term back in like middle school and high school, but I never knew what it felt like uh, and up until three weeks ago, you know? And ever since, I've just been feeling better and better each time. So, Hey, I'm living my best life, so. Jay, this is another important video that you got to see in like 20 some years, and I want to see where you are at this time. And, you know, if it's not an if. Jay, you're going to be working at NASA. I don't know if it's in 20 years, but it's definitely sometime in your life. Um, and whenever it happens, just crawl back to either this video or... Or the first one, I don't know. It's one of these videos. I gotta make like a whole playlist or some. Either way, um, do what you gotta do, man. Seriously. Uh, my neck kind of. What's going on? All right, peace.